politiske pøske! Vi er aktive forbi, og vår tid er kommet! Sverige og svenskene er ikke hets mot folkrum. Gutt, det er sunt fornuft! So we're in the center of Stockholm a couple of days before the election, and there's a far-right rally over here, which has been canceled by the government, but they showed up anyway, and a lot of angry protesters and more police than I've ever seen in one place in Stockholm. The overlap of all the people here and the Trump agenda, people talking about Trump on stage, wearing Trump hats, using Trump slogans everywhere. I mean, this is kind of the Swedish mirroring of the alt-right, and they love Donald Trump. I just love that person. Isn't he a high-energy person? I think so. I really think so. We love Trump. That's right. about Sweden itself. The next elections in Poland are not about Poland. It's all about Europe. If we will not unite, I mean conservatives, Europe is gone. Christian history and culture, this is who we are. And we cannot just forget who we are. It's, it's just madness. It's the cancer of 21st century. So in June of this year, Italy formed a new coalition government consisting of the populist left-wing five-star movement and the populist right-wing league. This is kind of the fantasy of American political strategist Steve Bannon, who is here for the victory and here consulting with both of the parties. It's a melding of what he always wanted, the Bernie Sanders left and the Donald Trump right, both populist from different polls together in one big coalition. Why is he so interested in Italy? The, the unthinkable happened. The unthinkable was that two so-called populist parties could uh, win the elections uh, and could, could run the country together. This can be an example for all uh, other people in uh, other countries in Europe. And of course, he believes that from Italy can start a larger Euro revolution that uh, can uh, change the face of, of European Union. What is the movement? The movement is first a club where we will put under the same tent, okay, like-minded leaders from all over the world to see that we are not alone and to be able eventually to help each other. I think it is indeed a, a big battle prevailing for the soul of Western civilization because the feeling, this feeling of alienation from the ordinary citizen is deep, very deep. 